We're here to announce the completion of our investigation into the September 28, 1981 murder of Laura Kempton in her residence in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Ms. Ms. Kempton was 23 when she was taken from us all too soon. And for 40 years, this terrible crime that took her life has remained unsolved. Today, we can announce that after a four decades long investigation led by the Portsmouth Police Department in conjunction with our cold case unit and with the aid of advancements in DNA testing, the perpetrator of this crime has been identified as Ronnie James Lee. Mr. Lee died on February 9th, 2005 at the age of 45. So even though I have concluded that we have gathered sufficient evidence to prosecute Mr. Lee for first degree murder and the death of Mrs. Kempton, criminal charges will, cannot be brought. That said, based on the review of the evidence available and the fact that I have determined that we would have had sufficient evidence to go forward with the prosecution, this case will be closed and identified as solved. Beginning in 2016, investigators used the services of a group named Identifinders International to obtain more information about this suspect male profile. First, to determine his heritage, then his familial contacts and connections, and finally, through more advancements in the technology, the perpetrator's specific identity. This analysis, which was later confirmed through additional DNA testing, led to the identification of the person responsible for Laura Kempton's murder. Ronnie James Lee. Mr. Lee was 21 years old at the time that he assaulted and murdered Laura Kempton. There is no indication that he knew or was acquainted with Laura Kempton, but he lived and worked in the Portsmouth area at the time of her murder. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.